Hello friends, today we will discuss types of interchanges. A grid separated intersection or a road interchange is fundamentally a crossing of two or more roadways at different levels. Now here two words are important, interchange and grid separation. An interchange is a grid separated intersection with ramps to connect them. An interchange is different from a grid separated intersection. Now, if you consider an interchange, this is a kind of interchange where a minor road meets a major street. Now, here this is called diagonal connection for left turn from minor street to major or from major to minor. These are called diagonal connection or outer connection. This is called a loop. When a vehicle takes a 270 degree turn to go right, from one road to another road, then it is called a loop. When loops are not provided, the right turn can be accommodated either through semi-direct connection or through direct connection. In case of semi-direct connection, a ramp is used for right turning traffic through a partial deviation from the intended path. So this vehicle is to go this side, but the actual path is slightly deviated. Whereas in case of direct connection, the path of the vehicle is in the direction of the turn. So this is achieved through bridges at different levels, whereas here you need only one bridge and here you will need at least two bridges. So these are different terminology which are used in case of an interchange. The grid separate intersection when two roads intersect at one point on the ground then grade separation is achieved by raising or lowering the profile of one of the roads with respect to ground level. And underpass or overpass are examples of grade separation. When the vertical profile of one highway is raised with respect to another road with the help of embankment and overbridge to eliminate intersection with another highway, then it is called an overpass. And similarly, when one highway is taken below another road by lowering its vertical profile either in the form of a tunnel or a box then it is called underpass. Grid separation is provided to segregate two traffic on two roads but all turning movements are accommodated at grade either through traffic light, rotary or police and that is the main difference between an interchange and a grid separation. Interchanges facilitate the change of direction of traffic from one highway to another highway at intersection without having any grade at grade crossing. Whereas in case of grade separation, only one or two movements are facilitated at different levels and other, other movements are at grade only. So interchange is primarily a solution to a capacity problem and type of interchange, shape and pattern of ramps and loops geometric design factors, speed, right of way, they will vary from site to site. The fact as other factors like safety, cost, environment, development and politics can vary at each site, there are hundreds if not thousands of unique one of a kind interchanges worldwide. However, many of these interchanges are slight variations of a basic few types that adapt well to various situations and have been proven over the decades. The basic shapes of interchanges are diamond, six ramps, rotary which is multi-level, it can be two level, three level or even four level also, clover leaf, trumpet, stack and volleyball. And we will discuss each of these shape in our subsequent discussion. The first is diamond interchange. This is the simplest of four lakh interchange designs and is particularly adaptable for major minor highway intersections. So through traffic on major street is taken on the second level and on the minor street the turning traffic and through traffic and turning traffic they are at grade. But the crossing is either segregated or it may be at the same point below this intersection point. The ramps which provide for one-way movement are usually elongated along the major highway and they may be curved or parallel to the major highway. 
The ramp terminals on the minor road are at grade intersections providing for right turn and left turn turning movements and these at grade intersections may be controlled by signals if warranted by traffic volume or in the absence of adequate side distance. So you can provide traffic police control here or a small roundabout also or maybe traffic signal to control the crossing the, the turning movements. Now this is the example. Now here major street is taken at the ground level and this street is raised and these are the space, these are the two spaces which are used by turning traffic. So ramp here is for left turning movement which is almost parallel to the main road and for right turning this vehicle will start and use this space to take a right turn. That is how a diamond is designed. Now this area here can be either channelized or as I told you it may be with a roundabout or maybe some other kind of control it depends upon the traffic volume. This is a variation from the design where these ramps and crossing is below the major highway. The second type of interchange is six ramp interchange. Now what is called six ramp interchange because it has four outer connections which are for left turning traffic and two loops which are for right turning traffic. Now these two loops can be in the opposite quadrant or they may be on the same side of the road or they may be on this these two coordinates also it all depends which right turn is to be facilitated. In case where at gate crossings on one of the roads can be tolerated and full clover leaf development is not possible then six ramp interchange is the best choice. Combined with some elements of a diamond interchange with one or more loops to eliminate only the more critical conflicts can be adopted. And here also a number of variations are possible for meeting the different site conditions and traffic distribution. Now six ramp interchange is also called a partial clover leaf and it allows traffic on the side street to flow more smoothly than a plain diamond. Each side of the street has an easy left turn to either direction on the freeway. They are also called three quarters interchange since six of eight possible ramps are included. Now this is one example. Here two right turn are accommodated through these loops and remaining two right turns they will be moving at grade. Either at this point they will cross the street, they will cross the movement or this point. This is a variation. See here you have outer connections, all the four outer connections here. Three loops are provided to facilitate right turn. And this right turn from this approach is taken on a semi-direct connection. So as I told you there are several variations of the designs in case of each type of interchange and they may be adopted depending upon the site conditions. The third type is rotary interchange. A roundabout or a rotary interchange is a type of interchange between a controlled access highway such as expressway or freeway and a minor road. The slip roads to and from the expressway carries way converge at a single roundabout which is grid separated from the expressway lanes with bridges. Roundabout interchanges are extremely common in UK, Ireland but not in, in US or in India. This is a two level rotary. Now here this rotary is at second level and expressway is on the ground level. Size of roundabout will decide the ease of turning movement. Now here the roundabout is at the ground level and expressway is taken at the second level. So that is the kind of variation you can see in different types of intersections which are available in different parts of the world. Now variation in roundabout can be a three level roundabout like this. Here two traffic on both the roads are uninterrupted, they are grid separated and this roundabout is provided at third level which is used for turning movement, right turn as well as left turn. 
in case of a four level roundabout see here this expressway on the ground level this is roundabout at second level at third level you have the east west expressway and this right turn is taken at fourth level which is the direct right turn and all remaining right turn will use the roundabout at the second level the next is clover leaf it is also called eight ramp interchange because here you provide all four loops and four outer connections the design of a clover leaf consists of one loop ramp and one outer connection for left turn traffic and right turn traffic in each quadrant vehicles desiring to turn right for example this vehicle taking right turn will move straight and then take a left turn here use this loop and then go on this road so it was only 270 degree turn before attaining the desired direction now this type of interchange provides for continuous movement to all interchanging traffic and is particularly suitable for the crossing of two major roads of equal importance and here also there can be several variations that design each loop can be of different shape depending upon the land available even the design of ramps this outer connections can be of different shape see here how it is curved a reverse curve is provided here whereas in this case it is outer connection simple outer connection and size of each loop is also different the size of loop and size of ramp may be different depending upon the site conditions and accordingly speeds are specified now here this is on vadodara ahmedabad expressway you see all four loops are of almost same size it's a symmetrical type of interchange but at yamuna expressway all the four loops are of different sizes it all depends upon the site conditions how much land is available for making the loops the next is trumpet interchange it is provided on 3 lakh particularly at t junction and it contains three lakhs at the end two of them are direct interchange ramp and another one is loop ramp which is a combination of semi direct and indirect interchange ramp so these are two outer connections here for left turning movement and this loop is provided for right turn from minor to major and this is a semi direct connection for right turn from major to minor and you can have a different types of trumpet as per the availability of the site availability of the land at site or desired speed it can be of this type also where you have a direct semi direct connection for right turning and one loop here this is also at a t intersection and but this is called a t bond because here no loop is provided three bridges are provided one bridge here one bridge here and one bridge here so this right turn and this right turn will cross here but at different levels that is the view from the side see two right turn are crossing here at this bridge so quite expensive structure and this is also a three level interchange at y intersection this is also three level structure here crossing of different movements is at different level but vertically at the same point the next is stack stack is a four level interchange on two major highway crossing each other here no loop is provided and all right turns are through semi direct or sometimes even direct ramps now here these are four outer connections for left turning movements and these right turners can be accommodated either through slightly semi directional right turn or maybe through direct right turn there are also certain variations are available for example here you see this is the outer connection for left turning movement and the direct connection for right turn so all the four right turns are at direct connections and the four level structure it can be slightly different shape like this 
that the levels are achieved at the same point in the vertical direction or it can be some other design also like this where you can see here that all right turns are accommodated through slightly semi-direct connections or it may be like this. So there are many variations available worldwide in case of stack also. Volleyball interchange, it is not in much use nowadays. This is a three level diamond interchange. This is not a free flow interchange as left turn and right turning traffic here has to deal with traffic lights or maybe a kind of roundabout here. You see here green line, a right turning movement will take this ramp and then it will take this bridge here and then go to the right turn. So it's a multi bridge structure and generally it can be accommodated. All turning movements can be accommodated in three level structure. This is how it looks like in case of the traffic being crossed here through traffic light. So this is the first level. You have the interchange at the ground level. At second level, all turning movements. And at third level, another interchange for through traffic. Or it may be a variation like this, that this looks like a traffic rotary. But really, it is not a rotary. It is a second level structure where a lot of weaving occurs at these points. So any vehicle going right will take a outer connection here and then we we'll use this area here and then go to this side like this. So that is how volleyball interchange is made. Another variation of a you can say a stack type interchange is a cyclic interchange. Here you see how right turns moments are accommodated. A right turn coming from this direction takes this loop and then goes to the right turn. So as I told you, there are hundreds of designs available worldwide, but basic shapes are six or seven only. The design principles for interchanges are many. It can be a planning consideration or geometric design consideration. It can be traffic consideration or interchange selection parameters. And safety also sometimes dictate the type of interchange. Safety of non-motorized traffic. And multimodal considerations also dictate the design of interchanges. All these parameters we will discuss in our next video. So friends, thank you very much for watching this video. You can write your suggestion in the comment box.